What's up, everybody? It's the People's Chat once again. Second video of the day. Just getting back from the gym. Went and trained some legs. Got the legs all tackled in um, to get my Monday started on track. So I went into the gym actually every day this week. And um, body is sore. Body is sore. The reason why my body is sore because I've been off of enhancements for 15 days. I uh, had to give my receptors a little bit of rest because I'm about to change my compounds around. I'm about to add in DECA. Um, reason why I'm adding in DECA is because I don't retain water. So it actually helps me put on lean mask. Funny as it is, crazy and wild as it is, DECA does not bloat me. DECA does not make me retain a whole water, which is a blessing. I actually could run DECA all the way up to the stage if I wanted to. Now, remember, I keep my DECA a half a cc under a full cc of testosterone for the simple fact that if you don't want the side effects that you hear of the horror stories of the DECA dick, meaning that you won't get erections and all that, you want to keep your testosterone a half a cc over your DECA. And by that way, the DECA, you never want it to match because if it match, it will overpower your testosterone to where it give you those negative side effects. This is something that I learned ooh, many, many years ago when I first got started with running um, DECA and uh, testosterone. So I'm going to run DECA. Uh, I'm going to throw MPP in there. And I know y'all like, why are you going to run DECA and MPP? Ain't they the same thing? One is very fast acting which mean that it's in and out of your system is at a high for only like a day and a half and then it drops. Why would I run both? It's because it's like a double barrel shotgun. <laughs> Boom. So, which means it's gonna hit my receptors really hard to give me that burst because I plateaued. I stopped growing. I stopped moving the scale. I stopped um, filling out and maybe it can have something to do with taking a 15 day break off of taking enhancements. So I'm gonna either throw MPP in with my DECA. If not MPP with my DECA, I'm gonna do an EQ and DECA blend. I'm gonna mix a half a CC of EQ, a half a CC of DECA. Now I'm gonna switch my testosterone up to Sustanine. Now I've been running a Nanthate for, whoa, this whole, gear of running gear with getting on, taking my little small breaks here and there. So I'm gonna go Sustanon. Why are you running Sustanon, man? The reason why I'm running Sustanon is once testosterone is in the body, it's in the body. But the difference is with the Sustanon is peaks and valleys with it. And I don't mind the peaks and valleys because I don't get the uh, crazy mood swings, the downers, the uppers. So I can, I can take advantage of doing that by tricking my body some more, which should help me get out of being plateaued. So what I'm trying to do now is trick my system from being too immune because you can even take a longer break and you will get right back to that weight where you were plateaued at because the body is only used to what you've been giving it. So I got to try to trick my system. So I want to go DECA, EQ, Sustanon, um, I've been off of the growth hormone now for about maybe a month and a half, almost two months. So my body is um, gonna be fresh to growth hormone when I do decide to throw that back in. I'm um, most likely gonna be running MK677. Right when I drop the, the Champ Science, I'm gonna be running the MK677, the YK11, um, and I'm gonna run some RAD 140. Just more testosterone. Uh, the MK677 is the um, growth hormone uh, factor, which means that it's gonna just keep giving me, feeding my body uh, little bursts of human growth hormone factors throughout the day. Besides when you just take a shot of growth hormone, you just get that big burst and when it dies out throughout the day, it just dies out. So with the MK677, it's gonna keep on just feeding my body some. Is it, can you match it and compare it to growth hormone? Absolutely not. You cannot compare the two because there's nothing um, that you could compare human growth hormone to far as the potency when it's real human growth hormone. And we all know that um, Mike White sells 
real human growth hormone. So, um, so but I know y'all want to know why I'm going to do MK677 instead of the growth hormone first. It's because, remember, I just told you guys, I'm trying to trick my body to try to get it out of this funk of being plateaued. You see what I'm saying? Um, so by that way, it's going to be constantly feeding my body one milliliter of uh, MK677 per day. And one milliliter might be equivalent to uh, 1.5 growth hormone, meaning a little under two IUs of growth hormone. So the one on ML is gonna be feeding my body pretty good. It's gonna give me the appetite to eat more. It's gonna help me rest more. It's gonna help me be able to recover a whole lot more faster. Uh, why are you gonna be doing the YK11, Mac? Because I get in my head sometimes and with the uh, myostatin prohibitor, it's like a governator on my brain, on my mind, to where that when I feel like I ate enough, while I'm taking that, and I know that I wanna eat more and I know I gotta get more food down, it's gonna allow me to get the food down. So with the MK677, the YK11 is gonna do that. Now, why I'm doing the RAB140? Because I don't wanna probably take no shot every day, which means that while I'm doing the RAB140, I'm still gonna feed my body testosterone throughout the day. So when the uh, sustenance are having the peaks and valleys, the dips and all of that, the RAD 140, in my mind, my theory, is going to keep me leveled enough to where that my dips won't be too dramatic. And the beauty of it is I don't have those mood swings to where that I have to worry about Roy Rage and getting violent or anything like that. So that's the beauty of it. I'm blessed to be able to adapt to the stuff pretty well. So that's why I'm going to mix Champ Science and Mike White products together. Now, I did everything. I'm just waiting on a letter to get in from my bank and it say it takes five to seven business days, which might be in no later than Friday, which means that I can make sure that I go live with the website. Um, maybe seven, eight days from now, I'm gonna go live with the website and we're gonna all get cracking. I'm gonna give you guys a great discount code so y'all can get y'all some um, some trusted um, products that you can experiment on yourself with and see which one you like better versus the Alpha Liquids and the Champ Science because the research that I've been doing and the back work that we've been putting into it, we blowing Alpha out the water, blowing it completely out the water. Alpha is about to be just a memory, a, fi a, 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 a vivid, what is it? Uh, a, fi a, fi a figure of our imagination. I think that's how you say it. However, um, so am I gonna run any tabs? Yes, I'm gonna run 0.5 of Remedex maybe once a week. I don't have to do no more than that because if I do twice a week, I can potentially lower my estrogen too low to where it's gonna defeat the purpose of me trying to lift this plateau. So realistically, I planned on getting those products in maybe by midweek. I planned on um, placing my order to purchase that stuff by midweek because I really need to stay on the gas. Now, I know a lot of y'all been asking me Mac, do you donate blood? What do you think about dumping blood? This is the thing. If you feel like it's necessary for you to dump blood, go do it. Everybody's body is totally different, you see. And then if you go get some tests run and see if you are having thick blood, uh, potentially could be a, a potential person that could clot with blood clots, or you ain't had got the jab, you ain't got the all of the different COVID shots, you are definitely a, uh, um, you are definitely a suspect in getting clocked. So you might want to take a baby aspirin every day. I think I'm gonna probably start taking a baby aspirin each day just because. But Mac, that's like a blood thinner. Yeah, 
there's nothing wrong with it. As long as you're not cutting yourself and doing crazy stuff, you don't have to worry about <laughs> spilling out. The only reason why I plan on doing a blood thinner, well, not a blood thinner, but a uh, baby aspirin is because a baby aspirin, aspirin in a quarter of, um, um, uh, Cialis and a quarter of Cialis helps monitor your blood pressure from rising. It also helps you from even potentially becoming a victim of blood clotting. So I always try to share information with you guys because there's nobody really sharing information. Now, Dave Palumbo shares a lot of great information. Um, Milos shares a ton of great information. You know, and what I love about these guys, they don't tell you this is what you're supposed to do or you should be doing. They share the information, so they put the information out there. So I look up to both of them. You know, I got a few mentors that I don't physically be with um, as much as I would love to. However, I can always make a phone call. I can always reach out and talk to them. You know, I actually had a conversation with Milos last night, saying um, when he had have time for me to drive up to Vegas. You know, just to go through a training with him. He's still recovering from his accident. So he told me, uh, contact him in a month to come up, you know, set up something so I could come up there and train. I know Milos, he's going to probably put me through some crazy um, intense leg um, workout, which I don't care what it is because I got to mark that off my bucket list to get trained by Milos. Uh, I remember when I used to get trained by Chris Cormier, he used to have me ready to puke on leg day. Um I used to, well, actually, Chris Cormier was the first person that took me under his wing when it got, when it came time to get in his business. He's the first person to tell, tell me about uh, Equipoise EQ. Um, he was also the first person to give me real human growth hormone. So I um, always have those in my corner that can give me just a little insight. I would love to have someone to actually be able to help me and not get frustrated and just leave me hanging because of my background or because I'm rough around the edges or, or whatever the reason may be. I, you know, it'll be beautiful. But since I don't have it that way, that's why I pay so much close attention to myself and I do it for myself, by myself, on myself. And I share my information and all my research that I'm doing on myself with you guys, just in case if some of y'all going through the same thing I'm going through to where you just don't give up and you don't quit, but you still want to make progress. I'm giving the information to you guys. So uh, once again, I'd like to thank everybody that's been subscribing to my channel. Those that's been hitting the thumbs up, like button. Those that's been hitting the bell for to get the notifications on the video. I greatly appreciate each and every last one of you guys. And I also appreciate each and every last one of you that's been really taking the information that I've been putting out there for us. Um, some of the struggles that us men go through when it pertains the opposite sex with women and everything. And I also appreciate all the women that's been giving me positive feedback because y'all know that I'm not bashing the women because like I say, you can look at what I'm saying, every word as and for a male as well. Because in every video I do, I also hold the men accountable as well. So I'm not a um, male chauvinist, I'm for women. And I'm also for trying to bring the brotherhood close tight because we lost somewhere in the sauce we so i want us to be able to have each other back like y'all women do so i greatly appreciate all of the um positive feedback that i'm getting the videos are being recommended to be watched now i um it wouldn't be done and it wouldn't be possible without any of you guys so I don't want y'all to go unnoticed without knowing that Mac Truck greatly appreciate each and every last one of you, and especially you. Yeah, you. <laughs> Look at you smiling and shit. <laughs> especially you. Greatly appreciate you. So that's my protocol that I'm going to run. It's going to be sus, DECA, either MPP or EQ, one or the other, not both. And I'm going to do MK677. RAB 140, YK11 from the Champ Science um, line. 
Um, I'm going to do 0.5 of Remedex once a week just to, you know, keep keep the tightness and keep the estrogen under control. Uh, what else I was going to, what else did I say I was going to run? I think that was it. Because that's, um, that's all I want to do right now because I took them 15 days. Actually, I'm going on 16 days. So by the time I order my stuff, I might be at 18, 19 days of not running anything. So I got to get my body out of this funk of being plateaued, of not growing, not doing much of anything because I'm still putting the work in the gym. I'm still putting the work in with my food. Also, I forgot to uh, also mention the insulin. Of course, yes, my truck will be doing the insulin. I do anywhere between 14 to 20 I use of insulin. I do it two times a day. Depends on how early I get started. Sometimes I might do it three times a day. Dang, Mac, that's a lot of insulin. It's all about how you do it. And mainly when I do mine, it's when I'm just loaded up with a lot of carbs, sugars, and ate and went going right into training. And then I do it pretty much after training. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing with that. I don't recommend insulin for no one. No one. So that's my protocol. Did I start off with that much? Absolutely not. I started off with three IUs and it was like that three IUs for like my first six years. And now I'm about going on eight years in. So I didn't start off that high. I just moved it up this high when I was getting prepared for the cow. The, um, the cow um, show I just did recently. So that's when I moved it up. Um, my experience from it being that high, I just get um, tired a lot faster uh, if I'm not training. So that's why I think I like it to where that when I'm training, I'm not even worried about going to sleep. I get exhausted. I get a crazy pump and everything, but all the glycogen and everything in the blood is going straight is pulling from the blood, taking it straight to the muscle, so I don't have to worry about it turning and converting it to fat. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, but taking that you know, insulin is going to make you a diabetic. It actually does the opposite. Keep my pancreas healthy. It keeps me from becoming a diabetic, so my body is not taking those drops or those raises to where that my body is dependent on it, so it's actually working in my favor. Scientifically proven, well, bro science. <laughs> Anywho, until next time, I'll smell y'all later. I'll holler at y'all. Bye. Kick, kick, kick.